Hello, my friends. Be blessed. Receive peace right now in this instance. The peace of the Spirit of Peace, which is the Holy Spirit. Receive strength. Receive faith for you to overcome your challenges and your battles. God, my friend, when he sent Moses to take his people out of Egypt, he made his staff as a tool, a tool of action of faith to fight the good battle to do the miracles which was done in Egypt. Look, the Apostle Paul says, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race and I have kept the faith. All of us live in battles. All of us face battles. All of us, be it a pastor, bishop, a pastor's wife, a member, never, ever, at any time, those who are in faith live, live in peace in this world, unless they made a pact with evil, with the devil. Because those who live in faith, those who live by faith, those who seek their eternal salvation live in a war because once you are in faith you will be in a battle you are thrown in the middle of the battlefield and if you don't overcome you will die so the apostle Paul shows this he says I fought the good fight the good fight is against doubt against fears, against anxiety, against difficulties, tribulations, which is presented to us each day, sometimes intense, other times less intense, other times even more intense. This we will have always. But, Jesus, when he speaks and sends his, his letters to the seven churches, he makes sure to make them understand that only those who overcome will have the right to eat from the tree of life. Only those who overcome will sit with him in his throne. So, my friend, it's a war. And if you want to overcome the devil, don't lament your problems. Don't lament your problems. Because when you lament the problem, it gets greater, bigger. You would have noticed this has happened to you and to me. When we have a little headache, a little pain on the head. We take it in. But when we go to the person next to us, when I tell Esther, Esther, I have this headache. Done. Immediately at that moment, that headache increases. What is this? It's a sign that we confess evil, we confess the pain and this pain became bigger. We give strength to this pain when we confess it. So when you have a problem and you start telling other people, this problem increases for you. And if you tell another person, it doubles. So don't lament your problems. Don't lament your problems. Speak to God. Pray to God. Fight to be free from these problems, but don't lament with others because others will also have their problems and obviously will give their opinions. They will speak. They will advise even things that shouldn't be done. 
So, my friend, our salvation depends of our victory. Our victory depends of our battle, our daily battle, our constant battle. Permanently, permanently, because in our head comes problems, comes doubts, comes fears, comes anxieties. In our head comes the thoughts of evil. In our head comes thoughts that we would never ever think and we would even be ashamed to speak. Very well. God knows all of this, but he gave us faith. Do you know the faith which we spoke of yesterday? That faith which guards faith. The faith that is sustainable. The faith that comes from the spirits of faith. The spirits of the Holy Spirit. This faith gives us the capacity to overcome our battles, our daily challenges. So, my friend, stop lamenting, thinking. You think that if you lament, you will reduce the pain. You will share your problems. You not. It will hurt even more. Do you remember when you were small? I remember when we were small. And this is a habit of children. When they stumble and fall, if there are people around them, if there's an adult around them, the baby cries, the child cries. He cries because he wants attention. If there is no one, shakes off the dust, gets up and move forward. Isn't it? Speak the truth. That's how it is. Human beings are like this. They like attention. The human being likes to be consoled, comforted. But my friend, let me tell you something. We live in a war. And in war, there is no time to be comforted or to comfort a wounded soldier. Either you take it in or you leave it and you carry on fighting against other problems. This is the truth. We live in a war permanently. Why are we in a war? For our salvation. Not war to conquer a husband, a wife, a house, to conquer a job, money. Not a war to overcome and conquer success, no. But a battle for our survival, for our salvation daily. This is what the Apostle Paul says. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. That's why you understand why Paul said, look for me to die is to gain. Because if I die, it's over. I finish the race and I go to the arms of my Lord. But if I live, it's Christ, meaning it's a fight, a battle. I'm going to have to sacrifice. But I can't be hoping and waiting for comfort from A, B, C. I know that the heart loves attention. It loves music. The heart loves to feel. It loves, it yearns to feel something which will make it feel good. But the faith is brute. It has no respect. We live in a battle. And in a battle, there's no violin. No one takes a violin to battle. None of this. In war, you take a machine gun. You take weapons. You go armed to kill or to die. Look, God is faith. God has given us faith as he gave to Moses the staff and he transformed that staff of Moses into an instrument of war, a manifestation of his power. Then God gave us faith. We have the staff with us. You have the staff with you. You are a weak person, debilitated. You live, you look in the mirror and you see that you are a weak person, but you are strong. Paul said, when I am weak, that's when I'm strong. Look, when I'm weak, that's when I'm strong. Meaning, to our weaknesses, it makes us strong. We get strength from our weakness. My friend, this is faith. This is faith. As well, you who is living depression, you are living in depression, constant headaches, insomnia, 
You desire to kill yourself. You have a deep sadness, anxiety. Soon, we will be here in the temple. Midday, I will be there. I have prepared myself. I like to go to war because in war, it's when we have victory. If there is no war, there is no victory. And the pleasure of the soul is to have victory in the Lord Jesus Christ. It's to see the Lord Jesus Christ acting and through us and in us. So shortly we will be in the Temple of Solomon. Midday. Exactly. Midday. We will be playing and setting pre, not just praying for God to console you. No. We will pray to remove by the roots the spirit of depression, the spirit of anguish, the spirit which makes you anxious. All right? That you may be free, that you by faith may take possession of what God has prepared for you. This is the intelligent faith, the faith which maintains faith. This faith which maintains faith comes from the Holy Spirit, the Spirit of the Almighty. Praise be to God. Fight for Him. We are in this faith. And on the 23rd, the great wedding, the 23rd, the last day of the fast of Daniel, we will be celebrating celebrating our marriage, the feast of the bridegroom. Don't forget clean clothes and a ring. Bring a ring. Doesn't matter if the ring is cheap, but bring it because this day when you receive the Holy Spirit, you place this ring on your finger. Never more will you forget that you have a ring, a communion with Him. And when you face challenges, you will look to that ring and you will be strengthened. You will live faith. You will fight the good fight. All right? God bless you all and see you soon.